Hey guys, this is Colby. Uh, today we're going to be continuing where we left off last time with the spaceship that we're making inside Blender. But today we're just basically just going to be texturing all of the panels and all of the pieces and basically finish off the entire ship, including the engines with a couple of simple uh, texturing options. So let's get started. So basically, all you really need to know to get started with tuck coloring things is to just select one of your pieces, click this button here, add a new texture, and name it to wherever you want. I'm going to name this two panels. It's going to be a whitish, like grayish texture. This is going to be pretty much for the entire ship, uh, just mostly gray and white, kind of like the Star Destroyer. Not a whole lot of colors on it. Might do some coloring for the engines with a different texture, but I'll show that in a second. So now that we've added a panel texture to it, uh, you change the color. Right here with the base color, you set it to as dark as you want, whatever color. I'm going to keep mine white. Uh, you can turn, turn up the roughness if you want to. Or turn it down to make it shinier. We can see it's more like a glass texture. You can turn up the metallic to make it more metallic. Roughness. Uh, we recover that. That's pretty much it. So to transfer these textures over to another set of panels, so say the centerpiece here, uh, if you want the same texture as the ones over here, just click on this sign here and click panels. The one you already created, and it's that simple. I'm pretty much going to be doing that for the rest of the ship, including most of the base hull as well. Uh, for the windows, I'll do something a little bit different, but I'm going to do a little time lapse, uh, show the process of me coloring the entire ship. I mean, to be honest, it's already kind of way, the way I want it to look. Uh, we're just going to modify the windows a bit, add some colors, and make it shinier. Here's the windows and the bridge, and uh, we're going to add a glowy bit to the bridge. So, I'll see you here in a second. So if you want some of the pieces on the panels to be a slightly different color, you can go into object mode, select the piece, and then go into edit mode with tab, or you can just bite this button up here. Or you can select one of the pieces here. So we'll select this piece, go to edit mode. So this is our base piece. This is going to affect the rest of these little panels here because they're all duplicates. So if you drag this one up, I'll basically just one control that one. So I might make some of these a little bit different color. Select these three. You can press L on each one, select each piece. You can add a new texture. I'm going to name this like panel uh, alternative. Panel alt one. Assign. That'll assign the texture to these three new panels here. Make sure that uh, you have panels for all of them. And you have panels alt to this one as well. These three should have panel alt one. So it's like this one here. I'm going to sign. And I'm going to set it to a dark color. Do the same for the rest of the panels if you want to. But I'm just adding some slight variation. So I might do some as here as well. So I'm going to select this piece. A couple of these. So just make sure to give it the panel's texture first. And then when you want to add color variation to it, Click the plus sign, add a panel's alt, go into edit mode, and then assign those textures. Like that. It's a pretty easy trick. So basically, once you've added your textures to your panels, uh, you want to color the windows as well if you need to or want to. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to select this piece here, go into edit mode, press 3 on my keyboard, or press this button here, it's the same thing. Select this face, I'm going to add a new texture, and I'm going to name it uh, Windows, press it Sign, set it to a dark color. It's going to do it for the whole thing, because we haven't assigned a texture to the rest of the bridge. You should probably do that first, you can undo it, press minus, go back, press panels, and add a new texture in object mode, go back into edit mode, and do the same thing we just did. Let's name it Windows, so press Assign. I'm going to give it a slightly shinier texture. Turn down the roughness of bits. Kind of hard to see, but it is shiny. So whenever you have a good uh, HDRM map around this entire sky, uh, you'll see the reflections a bit better. That's how it looks for now. 
Do the same on the back side. Sign. We'll do the same for this piece here. Go to edit mode. Select these two. Press plus. Windows and assign. So for these side hangers here, I already have a texture on it. It's set up to roughness bits. Just named it all at one. It's going to be for the hangers. It's a grayish color. But now I want to actually add a, another texture that's going to be essentially this piece here. It's going to be like a glowy, like sort of a holographic kind of section. Let's go to edit mode. Let's put plus sign. Add a new texture. Let's hit sign. And I'm going to actually change this principle to BDSF to emission. Turn up the glow a little bit. If you don't see the bloom, kind of how it glows a bit, you can go into this panel here and click on bloom. If you're in EV mode and cycles, it'll automatically do that for you. For this, I'm going to change it to a slightly blue color. Same on the other side as well. I'm going to do the same for the engines here. The engines have a base color. Go into edit mode after click the plus sign. I have to name this one. Just name it glowy blue. Go into edit mode, side in your engines, it's like this face here. Press the sign. There we go. So, uh, one more trick you could do if you want to add a little bit of extra detail through texturing to the hull of the ship, you can click on the base texture that you have for all of your main pieces, uh, except for the panels, basically. Panels are a separate texture. So if I select the base mesh itself, I'm going to add a base color. So click on this little yellow button here, and add a brick texture to it. So you can see a little bit of a pattern. It adds a little bit of extra detail. I'll make it a little bit less noticeable. Uh, you can turn up the scale to up or down, make it more dense. I'm going to turn it down a bit, just add some lines across the entire bridge. I'm um, going to change the dark color here to make it a bit more blended. Make this a little bit lighter. Just add some slight color variation. I think it looks pretty nice. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, but anyways, this will be pretty much the end of the Sci-Fi Cruiser series. And next time, I'll be making a separate different series. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. I'll see you guys next time.